create your bubble solution, one option is to fill a cup about halfway with water and then take some dish soap, any kind you want, and put a generous amount in. Not necessarily a specific amount, I just put a good few squirts in there. Next you're going to want to add some dye to it. I'm choosing to use food coloring, however you can use tempera paint, watercolor paint, any assortment of paints will work for this. Choose the color you'd like to use. Drop however many spots you think you need. I usually put maybe four or five to get a good saturated color. And you're going to stir that up. Another way of creating up the solution is of course using traditional bubble solution. Bubble solution does have the extra benefit that it is clear versus the dish soap, which tends to have a coloring to it. Although you can see it did a pretty good job of masking the color, the food coloring did, but it will always mix a little bit. So this uh, dish soap has a yellow tinge to it, so it's always going to kind of compromise the color we make um, anyway. Same exact thing, add a few drops, however saturated and deep you want that color to be. I will give you a hint that the more color you add, the better your bubbles will show up on your paper. One method for creating your bubble painting is going to require you to have some straws and your bubble solution, however you decided to make it. You also want some blank paper. As you can see, I started on this paper with some blue bubbles so you can sort of see freshly how they look. Here is how you're going to be doing it. Um, make sure you're very careful that you are not sucking up these bubbles, but bending down and blowing while the bubbles are raised at the surface, you flip your paper over and attach it. Now you can see that this came out very, very pale. It's very hard to see the pink, uh, which gives me a sign that I might want to add some more dye to it, that perhaps my um, solution wasn't deep enough and I need to go in with a little bit more dye. So this is kind of one of those things you'll have to kind of test out before you really get into it to see if your solution is a good one that's going to work well. You might on the other hand really like that it's pale. And as you can see the bubbles sit on top and as they pop they're going to leave behind the colorful beautiful residue. This should work with all colors that you create. Um, I stuck with primary colors in this example. However, of course you can mix your own colors even if you don't have anything other than food coloring. Uh, you can make orange, purple, green by just mixing the different colors together. This one is our bubble solution. Let's see how that works. Oh, that yellow is very pretty. Uh, what I like to do, why I like to use primary colors is I like kind of the way they naturally look like they blend and bleed to make a new color. And again, it's pretty pale. So I might try to go back in with a little bit more of a deeper tone. Um, perhaps I'll do that for our next example, which is going to be um, going outside and actually blowing some real bubbles to make our bubble painting. The next way of creating bubble painting is actually using real bubble wands. Um, I recommend, of course, doing this outdoors if this is the method you want to do. It's a great thing to do on a nice warm day. Make sure you have paper. Uh, if it's windy out, you might need some rocks to put it down. Thankfully, it's not windy today, so I don't need to worry about my paper blowing away. And there's a couple ways to do this. One is to get your bubble wand ready. and blow and try to capture it onto the paper. The better and more fun way is to have someone hold it and try to catch it as you're blowing it. So the fun way is to have a family member um, hold the paper or you can hold the paper and they can blow the bubbles. And you can try to capture them. What I love about this is you actually get like real bubble shapes instead of the sort of geometric bubbles, which can be so, so much fun. I will tell you that um, if you are going to be doing this outside and blowing a lot, you might want to consider wearing some sort of clothing that you don't really care too much about getting messy um, or getting ruined. Oh, trying to capture them. Oh, those, that one, you got a couple right there. I see them sitting right there. 
nice oh they popped they look good so this is just so much fun guys to to make these beautiful trying to capture the, <laughs> the oh, bubbles the... oh that one's fun yeah that one came out real good so I hope you guys really enjoy doing this. It is so much fun and every single time it's going to come out differently. It depends on how you're capturing the bubbles and what method you choose. If you're choosing to bubble from a, blow from a, bubbles from a straw or if you're going to be doing this sort of capture the bubbles game outside. Happy art making! And here we have an example of what I would consider a finished bubble painting from an outside bubble game of trying to capture the bubbles on paper. And here guys we have the two finished uh, bubble paintings so this one was from our outdoor adventure game um, as you can see it's a little bit wilder a little bit more kind of unpredictable just kind of floating all over the place so this is a really beautiful fun kind of look if that's something you enjoy um, and then this is from our indoor activity where we were very careful about where we placed them we had more control each little bubble area is actually a circular shape with lots of little bubbles inside so they're gonna have two really totally different looks so it's gonna be up to you which look you like you could try a little bit of both and uh, when you're finished with them you could actually hang them and frame them as they are uh, or you could do something with it you could do a drawing on top of it um, in black sharpie or something like that you could also do a quote on top maybe you can look up some interesting fun quote um, and you can put that on top that would look really pretty as well so I can't wait to see the awesome bubble paintings that you guys do I would love you to share them with me um, and I really hope you enjoy this activity